I'll be calling your article. All those videos I did all spring. With the historical high just crashing the bridge. This is the historical low. It won't be lower ever. You'll never see this river lower than it is today. It's almost December. We've got no snow yet. It's cold. But I think, well, I want to. I was just down here killing some time going to my grandson's soccer game. And I think it's such an incredible credit to these WPA rock masons. That's who trained me. I mean, talk about a lost art. Kevin Lash last of the Mohicans. You know what kind of pressure was on these walls this year? It was intense. It was radical as hell. Flowers. Flowers. I... What little bit of restoration are on the up and down these walls here along the river? Well, that's my work. You know, let's see, we got a new mayor. We'll see how that works out. But it's incredible credit. I mean, these walls are going on 100 years old. These are 1930 masterpieces. And, uh, at least Cole Eisenhower's dad come up to me and he says, I got to tell you, Kevin, thank you the other day for sticking up for Cole, local artists. Yeah. They spit at me. I just don't want them to spit in his face like they did my face. The whole Blanche Blaster and crew's all dead now. Kevin Blanche, the last one. They've all died just in the last year or two. All the work I've done in this city, including the Masonic Temple, including the tree in the Children's Museum, I built that out of lath and plaster. You know, the thousands and thousands of restoration projects. I still want to restore the old Lone Far Pool back to originality. I mean, it should be on the National Historic List just because of the movie, 1938. Right there after the movie, they put that fake shit over it. You know, I've been wanting to restore it back. You know, I've got a pacemaker now, but I'm strong enough getting there. But, you know, he's the local muralist who's, he's the, you know, he's native Ogden, multi generation Ogden. Like I, I just, like I told his dad, well, I, didn't, I don't want to happen to him what happened to me. You know, all that historical work I did in this town. And they just spit at me, treat me like dog shit. You know, just the 1905 Masonic Temple alone. I mean, that Masonic symbol, and I hand carved that. I hand chiseled that back to its splendor. Not a crew, me, we, Kevin D. Hand chiseled it seven days a week, 12 hours a day. I couldn't sleep in my mind, I was so hard for months. I will put a plaque up. Now, Bernie and Randy just sold it and made fucking a big chunk of money. Yeah. Just like the tree museum, when I did the tree. The, inside that tree, that's laughing plaster. I did that in the children's museum. Oh, yeah, we'll put a plaque out for you, Blanche. You walk up with that, that handprint, that's my hand. You know, I have thousands of them. I restored so up and down 25th Street. And I was just thinking about the... Now we got a new mayor. I'm going to change it from the Caldwell Monument, that big, ugly, grotesque monstrosity, to the Caldwell Cathedral. You know, what a thumbprint on his tenure. All he did the entire time. All he did the entire time was gut Ogden. You know, the, what they've done to the artisan in this town, this is the great artisan city. The great artisan city. I remember being in Europe, walking every day, and watching these plasters, me telling them every morning. I was in Europe for months and months. Oh, I can plaster. Nobody from America can plaster. And I says, oh, I can. Finally got tired of hearing it from me. He says, get up here. You know, he had a big old blade about that big for me, trying to buffalo me. I ain't gonna buffalo me. I got up on there with them mud boards, started going across that wall. He's like, holy shit. Ho, ho, ho. I never seen anything like that. Yeah. I thought none of us could plaster. 
Try me. He says, you want a job? <laughs> <laughs> I said, who do you think taught us here? What do you think Ogden is, was? Ogden was first, second, third generation. Children behave. Europeans. I mean, the city's young. Maybe 200 years, the fur. You know, the most... I saw the DFN Center, the most underutilized building in the world. A second... To there and I bespoke. I said, "Fifty." This is in the '60s. I have a program from the Raiders, 49ers had a preseason game right there, you know. So, children behave. What a credit to these incredible artisans. The pressure that was on these walls. Look how beautiful and perfect they are. A couple of little rainbows. Still up. There used to be giant rainbows and browns in here. They've slaughtered the ecology. What they've done to the artisan in this city is beyond disgusting and disturbing. The sign, the neon's gone up there. At least it's right up. They changed the colors on it. It's Christmas colors. I'll go down there and flip my soup can. You know, I'm waiting. So, credit to these artisans. You know, what they've done. These walls are almost 100 years old. The pressure that was on them this year was incredible. Flawless. First they come for the artisan. <laughs> yeah. So, Kevin Blanche, the last of the Ogden artisans. Laughing Plus, I wouldn't switch to the fake shit. The movie was filmed up there. And I really did make out with her. Because my girlfriend then was a lifeguard then when I was 18. She was 16. Lauren Far Pearl, that, you know, that's the movie. The Sandlot. I saw the national, and they put Ifa's fake stucco over the top of it. These fake stucco, Western stucco freaks that are still around, they'll all be in jail. Put freaking fake shit all right over plywood and got away with it. Like I said, Cole Zach came up to me, Scott, the arm wrestler. Thank you for sticking up for Cole and, you know, doing it. He did that new mural at the Eccles. I says, well, he only put Bertha. Mariner's not her his kid. Her kid. It's his kid. He was a polygamist. Two wives. I am the walking, talking, Ogden historian. All the restoration I did in this freaking town. And I, what did I get? I got spit in my face. <laughs> oh, that's what they do. Ask Michelangelo in Florence. That's where I was at when that guy says, I'm in Florence. He's like, oh, you guys can't fight. I says, oh, really? Michelangelo, 500 years ago, right now. The true artists, the greatest artisan, is the plaster with the hawk and trial. Even more better than the violin. I played that violin with my fishing pole. I'll do that in Europe. We're threatening to go to Europe this year and just take it out. And play the violin with my fishing pole and throw my case out there. Where's your soup can? Yeah. So what a credit to the artisan. These walls held up my, they're about 100 years old. These are the great WPA masters who taught me. Ogden High, you took a look at that masterpiece. <laughs> the WPA gem of all. Same guys did these. First, they come for the craftsman. I won't stop there.